Next up, finally, last but certainly not least, it's Monday Night Football, Baltimore, New Orleans. The uh, the Ravens come into this one five and three. The Saints three and five. The Ravens are favored in this one, uh, two and a half points at over under of forty eight. This is a game between well the, the the Saints who after last week that was a very very good win last week shutting out the Las Vegas Raiders. Their defense looked back. Their offense was continuing to, to put up points and uh, it looked good. Can that happen in this one against the Baltimore Ravens, who are also a very, very good team? I don't know. That's why I have Aaron and AJ here to help me figure out those answers. Aaron, what do you expect from the Saints in this game? Um, I expect the Saints to have trouble moving the football. I expect Baltimore Ravens defense with the addition of Roquan Smith and the defense that I feel has already gotten a lot better to um, get after Andy Dalton if it's not Jameis Winston. Um I, I think the Saints are very limited offense when it comes to what they're able to do. It's Alvin Kamara, it's Taysom Hill. And that's the effectiveness that allows Chris Olave to get open and things like that. But if Alvin Kamara is not doing what he did last week, the Saints won't score very many points. And um, that's going to be the problem. Obviously, Alvin Kamara is a problem, so you got to deal with them. But I think Baltimore is just too good. And then I think that defense that we saw from New Orleans is going to have a harder time being that defense last week against the Baltimore Ravens with Lamar Jackson. So I expect the Saints at home to play okay. Like, I think they're a good home team. They always have been. It, it makes for a tough place to play. But I think ultimately Baltimore is too much for them. I think the talent level is too much. I think the pass rush is going to be too much. I think the back end is going to be too much for Andy Dalton. Uh, expect a couple of turnovers from Andy Dalton in this game. And then Baltimore is able to capitalize. And, and the Saints just don't have enough on the roster to stay with a team that I feel is a top five team in this league. Um, and that is a Super Bowl contender in Baltimore. And that's even banged up as they are, again, with no running backs and, you know, no Rashad Bateman and, and stuff like that. So I, I just think Baltimore ends up being too much for them. Yeah, last week I think we saw a little bit of that, uh, the offensive struggles uh, from the Baltimore Ravens at times with the banged up Mark Andrews and then a banged up uh, banged up Rashad Bateman. At that time, they had to find different ways to, to score points. They, Isaiah Likely getting involved, Devin Duvernay doing his thing. AJ, what do you expect to see in this game from that Ravens offense, who now we know Rashad Bateman is done for the year and Mark Andrews is questionable heading into it. We might not even see Andrews, or, and we're definitely not going to see Bateman in, in, in this one. What do we expect uh, from the Ravens offense? I think you see a lot of what you saw last week, and it worked pretty decently. Uh, Isaiah likely showed he can step up in a time of need. Uh, no, he's not uh, Mark Andrews, but he can play, and he's very talented. Devin DuVernay showed that he can be versatile. He can catch touchdowns. He can run touchdowns. He's a great returner. Uh, and Lamar Jackson showed that he can have some trust with both of those guys. Uh, I think that continues here. I think they find their offense through Lamar Jackson running the ball, through finding ways to get Devin DuVernay the ball in different looks, uh, from having a safety blanket of Isaiah Likely, and from running the ball like they, they do uh, on a heavy at a heavy clip. Uh, that's who the Baltimore Ravens are, that and the defense. And now that defense not only has who we liked in Patrick Queen, who's still coming along, but one of the best defensive players in the National Football League in Roquan Smith. One of the better secondaries who, yeah, they may get banged up during the game, but they find a way back on the field in a Kyle Hamilton and, uh, you know, Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey, who have been in and out of the lineup. But uh, this team's really good. I think they have a good shot at, uh, you know, getting in uh, to a very good rhythm here in the second half of the season. Uh, and so you look at some stats. I know Vinny likes his stats. Lamar Jackson, 13 and one versus NFC teams. Andy Dalton, six and 19 as a starter in primetime games. Uh, the new Kirk Cousins, everybody. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take the Ravens in this game, uh, 31 to 23. 31 23. There it is. Um, Vinny, I'm sorry. I need to go back. To, uh, did, did you say that Baltimore's offense struggled without these guys? I didn't. I don't mean like struggled as in like they they were bad. I mean the there were times in that game where it was like okay, there's they're not clicking. Like just something wasn't clicking. They they eventually it made it happen. I mean Isaiah likely had a huge day. Um, and that that I don't think that we'd was be watching the same football games. 
I don't watch football. I don't watch football. I don't. I don't watch football. Well, I, I thought I Baltimore's offense. I just. I. I really. I just sit there week. and I just stare at the the tickers at the bottoms and like look at the <laughs> sidelines and I don't really watch the game. Like that's really anyway, what I do. I, I, I want to know what asking. John Harbaugh is doing on the sidelines. I'm watching him. Well, I, I seriously was asking. And in this game, I'll watch Dennis Allen. And I'll probably please, look. I'll probably listen please, really closely. Please get the to, song to, out of your ass. Okay, and just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I, I I do think that Baltimore's offense looked better last week than it has looked in in three weeks when we when they were actually struggling. Almost 500 yards of total offense against Tampa Bay. They didn't score points in the first half, but they still were moving the ball. The second half, you saw it. They put up 24 points. I think the offense is back on track. I think Lamar Jackson is back on track. I think Baltimore wins this game, 27-20 on the road, and we continue to see how good Baltimore is moving forward. Clean sweep it here. I have the Ravens 23-17. I think their defense is very good. I think they neutralize what they have going on in New Orleans. Uh, I am a little bit concerned about the the lack of Mark Andrews and Rashad Bateman possibly in this game. Um, but like you said, their their offense is still very good, very talented. Um, and they get the dub here 23 to 17. 